Minus ECC leading scorer Sean Kelly Darks, Walnut Hills, still handed Loveland's girls their first league loss Saturday, 68 to 58. Darian Burgeon, 23 points for Walnut Hills, and she's headed to Alabama A&M. Despite early foul trouble, UC signee Jillian Hayes had 25 points to lead Loveland. I'm just proud of my girls. I mean, they were so tough today, mentally, physically. They executed the game plan we had been working on all week long, and that's really what it was about, mental toughness and execution. And that's the only way you're beating Loveland, because again, they're so well coached. If, you don't, if you're not mentally tough and you don't execute your stuff, you got no chance, especially with Big Jillian down there. It's just our heart and soul has been for a long while, and uh, I'm amazingly proud of her. It just felt good to be out there. I mean, we knew we beat them. They beat us before with um, our starting point guard. She's one of our better players. So in our head, we was like, I know they think they're going to win because we ain't got her. They beat us the last time. So basically, everybody knew, like, you also got to do your part, but you got to do more. So yeah. It was fun out there. The environment was fun. The runs, they had a lot of runs. They had way more runs than us, even though we had the lead. But it was fun out there. Good sportsmanship, everything. Uh, pretty much, you know, a lot of, a lot of pulling and hanging on me, but it is what it is, for sure, for sure. I mean, we can still, we have still, still have a shot at the league title, so, you know, we're supposed to the next game. Loveland's now 11 and 3, 9 and 1 in the ECC, still in first. Walnut Hills 13 and 2 now, 7 and 2 in the ECC. The Eagles of Warner shared the last three league titles. Scott Springer for Cincinnati.com.